I'm John Burdick, and one of the challenges was putting in the ducting system from floor to floor in a cost-effective way. Initially, we were looking at multiple zones with the amount of duct work that it was going to take. We just couldn't find a good resolution to where to put all the duct work, and it would drop ceilings and soffits. I didn't want any soffits in our new design because of our 10-foot ceilings it would really stand out. That's when we recommended the Mitsubishi system and see if we could steer the, the job in that direction. The jurisdiction we're in here has setbacks from property lines. They do have noise requirements, and when we use the Mitsubishi systems, we don't even have to worry about where we're putting the unit because it'll always fit within the lot line and never even get close to the, the sound requirements. I hardly even know they're running when we operate them. When people come to visit our home, they don't even notice them until we point them out. But it's nice not having ducts in all the rooms. We like the option of not heating areas that we're not living in. One of the big reasons we thought Mitsubishi would fit well in the house is the open floor plan. We, we can get away with putting a single unit in, in a large room and instead of having multiple floor registers and you know, lots of ductwork. It allowed us to do less indoor units than we initially thought just because of the overall open floor plan and it looks like it's been working out great. Our electrical bill from these units is running $14 a month, which is unheard of for this size house. And it's been a great system, more efficient than anything I've ever seen or had in my prior homes.